Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Where are you watching this? Back out again today. Love it, don't I? <laughs> uh, I'm on some pasture today, excuse the wind noise. Uh, yeah, it's a bit windy today, so I'll have to switch over to wind mic in a bit. Uh, I've done this pasture about three or four times in the past. I've had one Roman coin off it, and that is it. Um, there's rest been shotgun ends and bullets, but I haven't been out with the amphibio on this match yet, so yeah, gonna give it a try, shall we? Anyway, uh, thank you to all my new subscribers, you legends. Uh, anyway, boys and girls, I'll see you all on the first decent hole. All right, first decent signal. What is it? It's my second. Oh, oopsie. See, that's how windy it is. It just blew my bloody machine over. Ring pull. That's all it is, ring pull. I've had a bullet and a ring pull. One, three, three, and one ring pull. All right. My um, mission today is to get at least one coin, any coin, no matter what it is, to show me that this land here isn't barren. Hey, moving on. All right, guys, just to let you know, I am actually running it today in 99 tone. It sounds very similar to uh, Deus. And it's pulled up the first coin. And to me, it looks very Roman-like uh, with that funny shape. Yeah, man, I'm gonna say that is a Roman. But again, why is it so tarnished? Uh, let me have a clean up with a toothbrush, which I have. You know, so much stick for not having a toothbrush. Look, there it is. Let's just see what it is, see what's my thing on it. Right. I've had a clean up with a toothbrush. I can kind of make out the Emperor's head facing towards the right. Um, but yeah, shame it's crusty as anything. Hey, I've already succeeded and it's only like my fourth hole of my mission today. So let's carry on and see if there's any more of these. Hopefully it's a, uh, can I have one of your silver friends please sir? Or even a gold friend and I'll be very, very happy. Right. Hey, on the Romans. Moving on. <laughs> Right, I don't know if you can hear this, but... That there is a cracking signal. That's either going to be... Right near the surface as well. Do a little bit of a live one. Just gives such a cracking little signal. He says. He watch it be absolutely tarnished now. <laughs> Cracking signal. Mortar fin. Hey, that's a live dig for you. Of an amazing signal, and it turns out to be a nice little mortar fin. Got loads of these. But anyway, moving on. I'll try another little live dig on you. This one's a nice 60, 65. And it's quite close to the surface as well. So, let's have another look. Sorry, I don't know you're doing these live digs, but if it's a good signal, come on. Do something amazing. <laughs> another live dig, and it's a bullet. Got to dig it though. Anyway, moving on. Right, next signal is this. Excuse the wind. I thought it was a glint of silver, but looking at it, I think it's a butter. Yeah, it's a nice, gorgeous livery button. That's even going in my pot. Look at that. I blew my ears off, saw a glint of silver as well. I saw the shank on the back. Still clean. There you go. Look at that. Excuse the wind. Love a button, especially one that looks like that. Why can't all buttons be like that? Anyway, moving on. Right, I'm just taking a little five minute break. Um, since the last button I dug, that's how many shotgun ends I've dug. <laughs> yeah, so a fair few. I'm gonna have to empty them out because if I carry on carrying weight, my bag ain't gonna last much longer. So I can always last little threads there. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them here. I know exactly where here is, and when I come back um, next week, I'll pick them all up and put, take them with me. Because nothing worse than leaving your junk, because you're only going up digging it again, weren't you? But anyway, a little five-minute break with me and the Thibio, uh, and I'll be back out on it. Still only one coin and one button. But anyway, moving on. All right, next signal is this is a crusty copper. I don't want to keep filming these crusty coppers. I keep finding them. Uh, but yeah, it was a deep one. <laughs> but hey, another coin. Two for the day. I doubled my uh, expectations of the hunt. So woohoo! Moving on. All right, next signal is this here. I've already got it out. Had a little clean up. I don't know what it is. It's uh, bronze. Feels really old. Uh, it could be absolutely anything, though. Absolutely no idea. Uh, I'm gonna have a good old clean up when we get home and show you in its full glory. It might have some more patterns or something on it. And it just might be a bit of crud. We don't know until we clean it up. Uh, yeah. There it is. Strange. Moving on. Right, next hole. Uh, I've been out for about two hours. Um, I still got about another two hours left, so I'm about halfway through my hunt. And I think I'm onto the next coin down here. I think it's a coin. It is, it's very battard. I don't know why these fields proper corrode the coins. I mean, that could be a Roman looking at it. But I can't tell you because they get bugger all off them. It's a bit of a pain. Uh, you see some YouTubers and they come out as if they were dropped yesterday and all my Roman and copper coins, this is why I love silver so much, because they sub details on them. But yeah, this is just looks like a little crusty, crusty, crusty copper. Uh, bit of a shame, but hey. Anyway, enough of looking at the hole. Moving on. All right, next signal. Um, can you see it? Top left corner. Oh, my wind mic's blowing in the front of the camera. Top, oh, top left corner. A little peach of a signal. Oh, that's one of those old uh, lead tobacco lid handles, isn't it? Yeah, man. That's a cool little artifact. Excuse the wind. But yeah, I love it. Anyway, moving on. Right, another coin. I'll tell you, I cannot fault this machine for depth. It is, it's another bent up. Uh, possibly a half penny. But that was some depth down. Um, yeah, I haven't dug such deep holes <laughs> for a long time. But yeah, it does do the business. I mean, I'm using 99 tone, but I've got it up to uh, 96. And it, it's just pinging them out, I mean, Brilliant signal. If you didn't dig it, you'd be silly. But anyway, another crusty coin for the pot. Moving on. All right, next signal is this little doodah here. Um, it's pewter. Um, I'm, I'm going to take a guess. It's the handle to a pewter mug or something. But yeah, pretty cool. At least it's not a shotgun end, as I'm on to uh, about 10,000 now. But you've got to dig it. Right, moving on. Mr. Lee. All right, next signal is another button. Uh, silver gilded, I have my heart going. Thought, hey, I'm on the silver again. But nah, it's a silver gilded button. And that gave off a signal, the same as a shotgun end, but cleaner. I don't know if that makes sense. Shotgun ends have got a little crackle behind them, but I dig them anyway because, you know, it could be hammered next to a small bit of iron. Uh, but yeah, that sounded a lot cleaner than a shotgun end, but same numbers, so. That's why I don't dig by numbers, I dig by the sound. But if it sounds alright, I'll dig it. No matter what the numbers are. Oh, poor bag. It is hanging on by the string of its teeth. Um, I'm walking back to the car now, so... See what else we can get on the way back. Don't need food film now. Bullets as such, but look at that. Big old 50 cow. That's going to do some damage a bit here. Being poked in the chest by the devil. Yeah, man. It's cool, what it'll find. That's definitely a keeper. Right, I'm almost there. 
Uh, if anything else comes up, you, you'll see it. Right, moving on. Well, that's then another the hunt. A few nice bits. So many shotgun ends, though, really. Um, anyway, thank you to all my old subscribers, legends. Anyway, I should be back out Sunday with a fun club. Uh, guys, I shall see you then. Thank you, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I shall see you on the next decent hole.